so about initialization uh, when uh, a, a constructor uh, is executed um, it uh, initializes the fields to uh, proper values uh, to reasonable state and um, in uh, the case of uh, uh, inheritance uh, uh, the superclass uh, in our example uh, has uh, one parameter for its constructor so the superclass as a constructor even if uh, um, we don't want to create objects of uh, uh, the class post uh, directly uh, this can be um, uh, this can be uh, uh, made so um, uh, there are there are techniques to make sure that uh, a creation of um, uh, these um, of objects of uh, class post are not allowed to be created. Uh, but in our case, uh, we just don't use it. Don't don't create. Uh, objects of class post even if we can and uh, to the constructor is passed uh, one uh, uh, parameter which is the name of the author uh, then in the uh, message post uh, there are two parameters that are passed to the constructor uh, the name of the author and the uh, message text um, and in here, uh, in the constructor of the message post, uh, we can note that the subclasses um, have uh, this uh, uh, super uh, keyword, uh, which is um, a super class call. Um, the, uh, basically, the um, the posts constructor, the superclass constructor, is called uh, with uh, this um, mm, with this sentence. Um, no, <laughs> like um, in this statement. In uh, so there is this statement. Uh, that uh, must uh, in Java it uh, uh, must always be the first statement of the constructor of the subclass. Uh, there has to be this uh, uh, super call. Um, but uh, uh, if uh, it is not provided, uh, the uh, Java compiler uh, automatically. Uh, inserts a super call without uh, parameters, uh, so it is equivalent to um, uh, super uh, without p parameters. Uh, so, um, and I if uh, there, there are some parameters, like in this case, uh, uh, in the constructor. Uh, then the Java compiler uh, will give uh, an error. Um, but to uh, avoid misinterpretation and confu confusion, it is good style to always write explicitly uh, the super call uh, in all the subclasses. Uh, so uh, the super call basically. Uh, executes the uh, post constructor and then returns uh, to um, uh, the subclass message post 
which then uh, finishes execution. Uh, so uh, if I put a breakpoint in the uh, first statement, super author, um, I can create a, a new message post and see what happens with the uh, instance variables and how they get uh, updated how they get instantiated so at first uh, th there are uh, um, these instance variables, okay, the long uh, and the int types are already set to zero, uh, so the timestamp time rights are zero now, uh, while the other uh, variables, the message, username, and comments are set to none. Uh, now, uh, if I uh, step into if I click there now uh, it I go to uh, the const uh, basically the uh, super call uh, is called with the parameter author uh, so we can see oops so we can see that we are here in the uh, post uh, uh, class with only the variable uh, author uh, which was passed to the call for uh, uh, post and uh, now um, username equals author will execute so uh, 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 and gets assigned to a username, then this uh, timestamp uh, is um, assigned, so it will it changes from zero to the uh, actual system time. Uh, then the lights are, are initialized to zero, um, and the comments are initialized to uh, an empty. with a reference uh, then uh, the execution of the uh, post constructor is uh, finished and uh, now we return to uh, message post and uh, variable text uh, will initialize message so hello is initialized to and then our message has the value hello and the execution of the, uh, the constructor of message post finishes and so now we have all the all the fields initialized to the parameters we have provided and to uh, the initial state of uh, uh, the other fields that uh, didn't we didn't provide a parameter for them.